60 students are surveyed. The survey reveals that 26 students play football, 29 students play basketball, and 5 students play both football and basketball. We're asked four questions. The first one is represent this information in a Venn diagram. Then we're asked how many students play football but not basketball, how many students play basketball but not football, and how many students play neither basketball nor football. So let's go ahead and draw a Venn diagram. Remember that remembering that Venn diagrams are a great way to keep track of information where we have overlapping regions. Uh, right, so here we're going to call this our sample space and the sample space we'll call A for all students. So all of our 60 students are going to be represented in this sample space. And we've been told that we have five students who play both football and basketball. So let's draw two regions and they're going to be overlapping. This is our first region and this is our second region. And we'll label this first region F for football and this one B for basketball. And this region in here, so that's, that's this, this little sliver that's in both F and B, that's going to represent the students who play both football and basketball. So let's attach some numbers here. It's, it's, we're told that five students play both football and basketball. So that means that this region here, this represents the number of students who play both football and basketball. So we can put five in here. Now we're also told that 26 students play football. So in this circle collectively, there are going to be 26 students. And we know that five of those students also play basketball. So what we want to do is we want to put a number in this region and this region represents the number of people who play football and only football, so they don't play basketball. So the number of students in this region, that's going to be 26 students minus the five students who play basketball as well. So that's going to be 21 students. So it's going to be 21 students who play football and not basketball, and another five students who play football and basketball. So collectively, there are 26 students who play football. What about the students in this region? So this, is the, this region represents the students who play basketball, but they don't play football. Well, we know that 29 students all up play basketball, and five of those students also play football. So the number of students who play basketball but not football, that's going to be 29 minus 5, which equals 24. So we're going to have 24 students here. So 24 students play basketball and don't play football. Now the five students play basketball and football, so collectively 29 students play basketball. Okay, the other thing that we're told is there are 60 students who are surveyed. So we need to fill out the number of people who play need, who, who are in this region, this A region, uh, who are in A, this A region, but also aren't, uh, aren't in the F region or in the B region. So in other words, these students play neither foot, football nor basketball. So we have here that 21 students play football but not basketball, five students play football and basketball, another 24 students play basketball but not football. So consequently, all up, those students who play some sort of sport, there are going to be 21 plus 5 plus 24 students who play some sort of sport. So 21 plus 5 is 26, 26 plus 24 is 50. So there are going to be 50 students who are covered in these two regions. Uh, what, what does that mean about the people who don't play any sport? Well, there are 60 students all up, so there must be 10 students who, who haven't noted down that they play either football or basketball. So we can say 60 minus 50 equals 10. So there are going to be 10 students in this region. And these students represent the students who were included in the survey but do not play football and do not play basketball. Okay, so we've represented this information effectively in a Venn diagram. At the end, it's always good to double check that you've got your numbers correct by adding up all the numbers uh, in each one of the sets. And when you add up all those numbers, it should come to the total number of people that you're surveying. So here we've got 10 plus 21 is 31, 31 plus 5 is 36, and 24 plus 36 is 60. So sure enough, we have just double checked that this diagram, we, we, we're pretty sure it's correct. So we've represented this information in a Venn diagram. How many students play football but not basketball? That's going to be represented by this region. That's going to be 21. 21 students play football, but they don't play basketball. How many students play basketball but not football? That's represented by this region. There are 24 students who play basketball but not football. 
How many students play neither basketball nor football? We found that out, that's going to be 10. So 10 students play neither basketball nor football. Again, there's a valid question to be asked here, and that is, what has this got to do with probability? Well, imagine that we had three different questions here. Instead of how many students play football but not basketball, imagine B said, suppose a student is chosen at random from this class. What is the probability that that student plays football but not basketball? Well, here we'd have 60 possible outcomes, 60 possible equally likely outcomes because our students would be chosen at random. And we've got 21 of these would meet our condition. That condition is play football but not basketball. So the probability here that we would select one of these students at random is 21 over 60. Um, we can reduce this fraction down, 21, that's the same as 3 times 7, and 60 is 3 times 20, so this is going to be 7 over 20. What if C, instead of this question, what if it were, uh, what if the question was, suppose a student is chosen at random, what is the probability that student plays basketball but not football? Well, that's going to be 24 over 60. There are 60 possible equally likely outcomes, 24 of which meet our conditions. So that's going to reduce down to 8 over 20, or alternatively, you can say 2 over 5. What about how many students play neither basketball nor football? Imagine instead that our question was, suppose a student is chosen at random, what is the probability that student plays neither basketball nor football? That's going to be 10 out of 60. 60 possible equally likely outcomes, 10 of which meet our conditions. That's going to reduce to 1 and 6. And we're done.